Hi, I'm Simon, the artist behind Koala SR. I just thought I'd go through some more watercolours so you can see how they look. I know sometimes it's quite hard to see just from a 2D image uh, some of the details and things like that. So that's what I'm doing today. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is a watercolour. It's on 15 by 11 inches. It's uh, easily framed. You can put it on like a 16 by 14 inch frame with a little inlay of say 14 by 11 inches. If you need to know any of those sort of details, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me. I'll let you know. I mean, most framers will be able to do that for you. Um, and if you ask anyone, I'm sure they could help you out too. Regarding that, just to give a bit of sense of scale, it is, this isn't, excuse me, as I bend it down to pick up, this is an A4 sheet. So you can see roughly where the A4 sheet goes and how it would cover. Okay. So, as I said, this is a drawing. It's set in Spain. Uh, it's of people standing on a, on a cliff here looking into the ocean. Uh, it really reminds me of holidays that I've been on where lots of people would kind of stand around looking and if it was safe to do, maybe jump into the ocean from there. Um, and obviously, depending on how deep it is as well and all those other sort of safety factors. Um, yeah, so this particular one, it really reminds me, as I say, of sort of holidays away. Uh, with a big sort of blue Mediterranean sky and then the orange given the slightly sort of silhouetted figures behind it I would start normally with the skies here with a wash I didn't decide to put any clouds in I really like the actually sort of the gradient effect of the watercolours here and then we've got the really sort of slightly choppy sea and it's got a reasonable amount of green in there so I put in there and then with a sort of dry brush technique so when it's dried off I've gone in and put in a bit of the wave detail so you can see there that's there and then on the edges here where we've got the I've got the waves that would be a case of using a damp brush and lifting out some of the paint and then scraping that across there and that gives you this you can see where it's white it gives you that effect of the wave on the beach itself so it's heavily shadowed obviously underneath the particular uh, sort of cliff or rock face here and again what I've done in here is I would have gone in with quite a sort of darker paint and then come in afterwards and lifted out some of the paint so you get this particular rock shape which I think looks really nice and that's again with the paper being so nice too as well that you can you can work it and go in afterwards and then we've got the kind of splash here so that would be with this a, a damp brush once it's dried go in and lifting up some of the paint and literally with a paintbrush going up like that and that will give the, the splashing effect of the wave coming in. So there we go. So a sort of holiday style Mediterranean Spanish picture there. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in contact. Thanks.